from the Coliseum to the court. Today is the culmination of the Axe Euro Tour, the third and final game for the Bronny James-led California Basketball Club as they take on Italian club squad Stella Azura. And that last game, Bronny had a really nice outing. Bronny James might have had the best performance of the summer back in France. Knows how to move it off the basketball, back cut for opportunity layups. He was terrific on the back cut all game long. I love this play. How about the confidence, the missed shot. He immediately goes to the three-point line, gets his feet set, and then knocks it down. Sign of a guy who's worked on his jump shot. Perhaps this was the play of the tour, and it had Twitter trending. Bronny James went coast to coast, pushing it with speed, jumping off the left foot, finishing with the right hand, and immediately to the back pedal. Keep an eye on 15 in the white, the boar. He is massive at 7'1", 250 pounds. And it starts with Emmanuel Innocenti. Has been suffocating in the first few possessions. A lot of pressure on the ball. Three-pointer is good from the corner. Lucas Fresno. Now, Paul, you and I got out onto the court a little bit. You get a few shots up, you realize you've really got to be precise. These are not friendly rims. You should get on the board. Feet up ahead, and a perfect finish at the rim. Fabrizio Pugliati. A little bit bigger than the French team. They are, especially for the high school level, quite physically imposing. Off the screen, Innocenti slams it with one second on the shot clock. Not just for us, but the players themselves to go through there and see the, the art and the history of this world. Now the lead now balloons to 13. Slow to get up. Five on four opportunity for CBC if they push it. Hardaway steps through and count the bucket. The first to drop for CBC. Nice action. Alatakun finds success on the right block. Matoyer collects his own miss. That's Hardaway's range. And his cash on the three. His Majuk Chol re-enters at the center spot. He's going to battle now on the interior with Duke Mabor. Hard contact. That bucket goes. And Bronny's calling for it. He's got the mismatch guarded by the seven-footer Mabor. I don't know if it's a mismatch. Bronny on the crossover gets it taken away. Byzantine up ahead of the pack. Hardaway, good from the corner. His second triple of the opening quarter. We don't have the limits. You know, we might want to go and play in the EuroLeague. Uh, obviously, the real objective is to have uh, uh, kids grow and become, uh, obviously, talented basketball players. And who knows? Maybe we'll find the new one. But you got to play through it. you got to be tough. you got to get low with the dribble and low with the pass. Driving kick, Byzantine, corner three is good. And it really was a, a tough physical style of play back in the 90s in the Big East. Chol, just one step to the bucket. He's wide left, Aladakun there to put it back on the right. Up there, my boy. Just knocks you off your path. That's an off-balance three, perfectly done. Matteo Byzantine. Great job stepping in, now he's trying to run the show. A oh, great pass. Aladakun rises and jams it to the game. He is Paul Biancardi, ESPN's National Director of Recruiting. I'm Mike Cousins. That's Bronny James with his first points of the game coming from three. We're progressive Correct. in adopting new rules. How about just going to one shot for two points? So, I mean, you got to throw that ball in there. Too late as he got forced off the block. Matoyer, 15-footer, good. Ooh, outside of his usual scoring area. Hardaway off the left hand. Flings it back to nobody in particular. It's a breakaway, Foku to the rim, and with power, throws it through. And Chol fighting for the ball. I love the effort, the hustle by CBC. Just love it. James, baseline, yes. And that's what Bronny James has to get used to doing more often. A lot of passing. This is the first good open look for Stella Azura. Three, Fabrizio Pugliati. Stella Azura by two. Now make it five, Francesco Rapini. Rapini gets away with what should have been an offensive foul.
It's a straight drive down the lane. Jerome and Suro is a grown man. To flush that baby home. Takes it from the elbow right down the middle. And the Cavaliers are pretty deep this year. They have a really strong freshman class. Ronnie James pins it against the backboard. Shot clock off. Hardaway, a corner three try. Yes! 41 to 39. Take a look at this. Chasing it down. Knocking it down. Straight line push, and he knows exactly where he's going. Shades of dead. Check this baby out. Give me that. Tero Felici, my cousins Paul Biancardi, and we're coming down to the wire. Opportunity for CBC to pick up their first win of the trip. They have led today, and they come back to tie it here to open the fourth. Start to work on the finer points of the game, and, and, and blocking out just has to become secondary. Rapini through the defense. Wow. Nifty move from the guard. One of the more simple offensive sets today. Cofield. Yes. Finish game. Just a sophomore. Finished off by Pugliati. Oladakun tries to drive on Mabor. Now pulls back for three. Wow. He's doing a little bit of everything on this trip. Denied by Cofield. Great defense by Cofield. Beautiful concentration. James to Hardaway. Inside out dribble into the lane. Leaves it short. Chol collects. Over Mabor. And that's good for two. Majuk Chol on the board for the first time today. Chol. Hardaway feeds ahead. And that bucket counts. CBC all game. They have sustained their defensive intensity, CBC. And that time, Bronny had a hand down. Inocenti for three, ties it up at 50. He's their best three-point shooter, along with Lucas. Oh, dial it up from deep. Hardaway now has 18. He's 15 years old. I mean, not played up at the varsity level just yet. Pugliati off to Rapini, and he hits a wide open three. Perfect. Three is good again. Hardaway can't be stopped. 21. So short and quick. You can lock in defensively and, and know that you're going to get the ball back. A lot of Kuhn against two defenders around and out. And it's hoisted up and in. Bryce Cofield. In for Rapini. From his short corner, he gives it up. Shot clock is down to four. They try to swing it to the top of the key. It's taken away by Cofield. They probably know each other real well. This is Vizentine. He pulls up for the tie, and it's short. CBC down 12 to one to open the game. Holds on to the fourth quarter and wins 60-57 in Rome. What a gutty performance by CBC. And this was a total team effort. And effort's the key word because they never let up on their effort all game long. I'll tell you what, Ashton Hardaway with the three ball, got him back into the game, pushed the lead up in front. Madrick Chole with some high energy plays. Bronny James with some huge plays. This was a tremendous tour for CBC. They grew as players in this game. And great thanks to go around for everybody involved with this tour as well. From Paragon Marketing Group to Complete Sports Management and our tireless production team traveling throughout the continent to make it all happen. We get ready to say ciao here from Rome. So for my partner Paul Biancardi, I'm Mike Cousins. Thanks so much for being with us. Arrivederci.